We are all in the business of human impact, and we define this as businesses focused on putting people and the planet first by innovating for good. And we are here today because we are partners united by our focus on people-centric technologies aimed at making the world a better place. Our world starts with our employees and our customers, and we want to create a ripple effect, scaling empathy to everyone that our businesses touch. I am Bridget McAdoo, our Chief Sustainability Officer here at Genesis, and I have the pleasure of being joined today by John Hernandez, our Executive Vice President and General Manager of Genesis Multicloud, Tony Lorentzen, the Senior Vice President and General Manager of Intelligent Engagement at Nuance, a Microsoft company, and Dilnison Bayel, Accenture's Managing Director, Head of Advanced Customer Engagement for Europe. Welcome, everyone. Hello. Good to see you. You've talked about this customer investment. So what have you seen other businesses doing to raise that standard? Mm -hmm. When we were thinking about that innovation and that product for good, what have you seen this, particularly like in the banking industry? It's an interesting question because we are also measuring this mm -hmm. continuously. And a recent study we did with Edwick. Uh, so companies thinking they're delivering the superior customer experience is 80%. Customers agreeing with this is 8%. <laughs> so there is still a big gap between yeah. like how the companies are seeing what they're doing is the right thing to do and they're really elevating the experience versus what the customers think. Because I think as customers, we're not looking at the industries as they're standalone, but we're looking all our life experiences and willing to replicate those. So like if I like an experience I have with the retail store or with a telecom entity or with a bank, I would like to have it everywhere. So I don't look at it, okay, what's my banking experience? What's my, um, I don't know, telecom experience? I want to have it all, all around. And that's still a big gap. And I think um, still there is a lot to do because we are not still there in terms of omnichannel. We're not still there using data for the benefit of the customer. We are probably solving some of the things for today, mm -hmm. but we're not creating experiences for timeless and magic, like adding value all the time. And maybe in some segments, like retail has been doing a lot, but commercial, SME, corporate, I mean, COVID showed that SME market has a lot more needs than any other segment. And from a banking example, I mean, also thinking about the, the contact centers. So I think there is still a lot to do with being more predictive about the moment. So I like the example of like, let's say you're a customer and you're trying to withdraw money in the middle of the night and your card is blocked in the ATM machine. The bank needs to know this and shouldn't wait for me to call in the middle of the night for like informing that my card is blocked. They can easily use all these technologies to send you a QR code saying that, oh, dear customers, we noticed that your card is blocked. You couldn't withdraw the money yet. So this is the QR code, you can easily withdraw the money. So those things still need to be more in our life because at the moment, I think most of the cases we are using technology more for solving today's problem. We need to continue creating new experiences and simplification of life. And I think companies are moving that direction, but it's still taking time. <laughs> but I think there's um, a lot more to be done. And it's going to help all of us, not just as uh, delivering those, but as life will be getting better. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I think another thing on that, and um, continuing on the financial services line is, um, you know, every company has a different starting point. Yeah. There's some brand new financial services companies that were born in the digital age. They don't have technology of the past. They can just jump right in with the current digital stack, but there's other large institutions that have been around a long time and want to have that same type of experience. So it's it's all about having the dialogue of understanding where they are today and where they're going to go. And some of those key critical things, back to asynchronous and digital engagement, is like home mortgages, mm -hmm. right? So most likely somebody's going to start that process online. They're not going to go into a bank anymore and start that. But once it's submitted, it's how do you proactively digitally engage with them so they don't, one, lose interest, and two, don't understand what's happening in the process. And then when they do send an email or a chat or pick up the phone, how do you use the orchestration capabilities to take all that richness in so that the employee, the agent that's going to have that interaction, 
has everything at their disposal, just as if the consumer was looking on the mobile app and has it all together. Now, that seems like a simple thing to fix, but in many companies, it's a complicated technology integration that needs to happen. And that's where I see the partnership between Accenture, Genesis, and Microsoft really helping customers with that challenge to ultimately get to that type of experience. Yeah, just building on it with, you know, you talked about the collaboration you know, with Microsoft Teams and, and collaboration, what you just talked about, the whole multi-channel capabilities, is how do you create that that collaboration we call swarming, right? Yeah. Like where you're, we're in this hybrid environment, not every agent's going to be able to answer every question. So how do they pull in other experts from around the organization to handle right. the, the new world that we're, that we're in today? Yeah, yeah. And it's not just banking. I mean, we see it in supply chain. I mean, that's a big topic right now in the world, right? Um, is, you know, tied into manufacturers of appliances. And so when you buy something on a retail site for a dishwasher, having that ability to tie into the supply chain um, system, understand, do they need to manufacture it or is there one in stock? And then proactively engaging right. through digital of, here's the delivery date. Would you like us to install it? Would you like us to take it away? Mm -hmm. All of that takes orchestration of multiple systems to pull that together. And, and that again, that's power of the three companies coming together to, to provide that. And I think to your point, some industries used to be more like, okay, I sell my goods, but then the carrying or delivery or assembly is not just my job, but I just yep. initiate it. Now with all the things getting more digital, I think we, our expectation as customers from those companies are also manage it for me because it's the delivery and it's kind of until I start using it. And they need to do it not only for their channels, but also all the related parties around them to make it really happen. So it's going to be probably not only solving for the company itself, but managing the delivery company, managing the experience of the assembly and etc. the last mile to make it really happen. And it's going to be again on the technologies that we're all talking about. You both mentioned um, digital transformation, and what we're seeing a lot of is like the new entrants in market, the disruptors in these new markets, they're starting completely from a digital point of view. Yeah. Uh, you know, 90, 95% of their customer contact is in digital channels, yeah. whether, whether it's social, whether it's, you know, messaging, whether it's just simple SMS. So you're going to see that more and more over time as these new entrants enter in. The other thing that, that we've seen in our industry um, is the speed to cloud now, where many would argue that um, the call center space has kind of been the laggard. You know, you had CRM and ERP and, and a lot of the other applications out there move quickly. Call center was kind of the laggard in that, but with COVID and people having to work from home, the speed to getting to cloud has never been uh, like this before, which again is another way to get out of those data centers and reduce the carbon footprint by really putting things into the cloud and leveraging that type of model. So lots of areas to explore on this topic for sure. The more we are able to make these partnerships and collaborations, the, the easier for our customers to configure the big picture because otherwise when there's the need, we are trying to come together, but it needs to be really pre-agreed what's the best kind of components, how we can adapt to different starting points, because everybody has been doing a lot of investments. But the way we see the picture, the, we, the way we see the fuller things, not only from our angles, I think accelerates a lot of the improvement going forward, because otherwise things are so fragmented. There's a lot of complexity on managing it. And even though they're willing to deliver the best, it's getting so much cost, effort, and energy, and it's never getting to the full. I think the partnerships like this, making sure we are kind of coming together, agreeing on what's the best, and configuring it based on the case of the client, helps also acceleration of their results. We all come from different points of view, all bringing our different technologies, yeah. and all coming from different you know set of experiences. So, yeah. and then from from a customer point and customer point of view, that's just immensely powerful. Because otherwise they try to get the best of breed or uh -huh. they try to do different things in different phases. Mm -hmm. But now we are able to help also what's the right way to do it. You mentioned earlier before about the shift to cloud and more companies are doing it. We're, we're just to build on that real quick is we're actually seeing now like when you think utilities who were built on rate cases and things yeah. move into the cloud. You think about government right yeah. now moving to the cloud. Yeah. Um, so that's all happening. And, and you know, back to the question, 
What's interesting when you think about industry verticals is they're all different. They're all unique. Yeah. Like you think about the difference between you know retail and financial services. There is some commonality, but the power of the partnership that we have yeah. is understanding all having different experiences with those industries and, and being able to to leverage all of our collective technologies and, and expertise to solve those very very yeah. same problems. Here, here's a common horizontal application, but delivered differently. So a retailer, uh, many of them that we work with. It's all about proactive digital touch of the product is shipping and you'll get it X, right? So that they don't call to inquire about what's going on with it. Proactive, consumer loves it, reduces a call into the call center, everybody's happy. And then you got somebody like, you know, um, waste management and, and garbage collection, right? Which seems like something completely foreign to retail, but the same type of technology is needed. Why? You got a snow day. What's that do? It backs up the... The, the garbage delivery. And so that same proactive reach, so you don't get a call coming in, it's the same technology, but it's applied in a different way. They actually even use it for, for the drivers themselves so that they have that field service touch of what should I do and how do I schedule against some of those things that happen in that world, like snow days. And, and that's where innovation happening. comes from, right? Yeah, exactly. It's how do you take the, the norm and use it in abnormal ways? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, I'm extremely appreciative. Our, our theme this year for our sustainability report is join us on the journey. And all of you have joined me today to talk about this business of human impact. Thank you all again. And thank you for coming. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.